so hi again and as i promised that now we'll be after seeing that why should we study the noise models because we saw that there are certain histograms and when we prepare the histograms for the degraded uh, image then we have a certain idea that uh, what type of noise degraded my image right so now we'll take into consideration every single noise model one by one and discuss a bit about them and what are the characteristics or, or during what process these noises get introduced right so we have the quantitative knowledge through the histograms the qualitative knowledge to see that okay this is uh, this is kind of noise degraded my image so combining both the qualitative and the quantitative knowledge we would be able to know that okay this noise has degraded my image or has uh, deteriorated the quality so before uh, doing all the noises we need to see the certain mathematics some the mathematics will be used because we have you can see the mean and the variance we need to calculate these things for all the noise models so just remember these formulas these won't be repeated in the upcoming videos uh, so first of all we have mean which is also called as expected value of z how to calculate is we have an integral z pz dz uh, lower limit here and upper limit over here for the variance the symbol is sigma square the sigma is the standard deviation and sigma square is my variance so this is expected value of z square minus expected value of z whole square where expected value of z square will be just nothing but z square pz dz lower limit and then upper limit for the cdf we simply integrate p of z dz lower limit to upper limit so these three formulas just make sure you remember expected value of z which is integral of z pz dz from lower limit to upper limit cdf is simply p of z dz from lower limit to upper limit the integral and lastly we have the variance which is sigma square which is expected value of z square minus expected value of z whole square right so now let's take into consideration the uniform noise in this video so uh, the pdf which is the probability density function of the uniform noise is given like p of z that is probability of that z is equals to 1 upon b minus a if z lies in the interval a to b and outside this interval or otherwise it is zero this can be very easily understood with the help of this graph so you can just see that here it is the z and here it is the probability of z right so you know that here this is my noise and this is the probability of my noise right so if i take any defined interval from a to b inside the all interval all the values in between will just give me one value which is one upon b minus a and that is the reason it is also called uniform noise and it is zero otherwise means outside the interval it will be just having the value zero now the question arises is that when does this uniform noise gets introduced right so you would have started something called as sampling and quantization right sampling is when you discretize the x axis values and quantization is when you discretize the y axis values now supposedly you have an analog signal right you want to convert it into digital the two steps required to do so are first is sampling second is quantization in quantization what happens supposedly you have the uh, values from the range of 0 volt to 5 volts but now you want it in terms of image intensities from 0 to 255 because you are going in for a grayscale image right so when you are converting we are mapping that 0 volt to 5 volt to 0 to 255 using quantization for example, like you take into consideration that 0 to 0 0.28 volts, that will be 0 intensity value. And 0 0.29 to uh, say 0 0.30, this will be 1 intensity value. So on you mapped it in a manner that now your 0 volts to 5 volts are mapped to 0 to 255 intensity values. So during that process which we call as quantization this uniform noise can get distributed over there so the quantization noise is uniformly distributed now the mean and the variance of this uh, density are given by mean is a plus b by 2 and the variance is b minus a square by 12 now how these expressions came 
uh, the uh, this is by using these formulas so this step by step calculation of the mean and variance is the part of mathematics so i have not included this in the video but there is a link given in the description below you can check it and there i have solved uh, step by step that how you can calculate the mean and variance for this uniform noise 